Kakashi with a kunai. So landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pose, we'll go too fast. So hand and a three quarter pose, right? So head is kind of tilted. He's looking kind of serious. So center point of my page is about here. Head is in the top half. Come up over to the right. Head tilted, right? And some of his eye underneath hair. So we'll go with a curved line for his nose first. Just get everything in the right place. So it just like curves around like that, right? And his eye comes out from in beside this line. So it goes diagonal across. And in true Naruto style, we have this hook that comes down here. Okay, and you could like thicken up the top eyelid a little bit. It doesn't have to be major. Right. His bottom eyelid line then just curves around and up into there. And then his iris, this is the Sharingan eye, so it just comes down around like so. Pupil in the middle. And then we'll do a Sharingan dot here. And one on maybe one, two, three, one here, right? And they do sometimes have this kind of another circle kind of like coming around it. It's very light though, just going around here. His eyebrow then just ticks up here, goes underneath his hair. You can't see it, right? So it goes like that way. Can't see all of it, I mean, it just disappears there. Then he's got like an eyelid line. Just there. And then his scar comes down this way and then disappears up underneath his hair there as well. So his other eye, so you're about eye width. So measure this eye, fits in between, that's where the next eye starts. And we're diagonal down, remember? So we're like lower down, we're underneath it. Because his head is tilted down. So it curves this way. And then we have that sort of hook back here. You can thicken up his eye, top eye a little, a little bit. Bottom eyelid line just comes across here. And then his iris and pupil, which you can't see in this eye. This is just like colored black, I think, or gray. I'll go black and we'll leave a little sort of white highlight here. Eyebrow then ticks up and back that way. And we'll just add a little sort of space that we can color gray inside there. Eyelid line up, back to there. And then kind of a nose line or something there. So his, masks, his mask comes down around across his face, right? And we can't see his mouth or anything like that. So, say eyebrow to the tip of the nose is about the same as nose to nearly his chin. So like his chin would be here, I'd say. A bit lower down than that halfway mark. All right, so this kind of cup or bowl sort of shape here. And again, we're on this diagonal. And this whole thing, like say to the bottom of his nose, say like that's the tip of his nose. So like the bottom of his nose would be like down there somewhere. So eyebrow to that is about the same as that to chin. 
that's like your halfway point between the eyebrow and the chin. Just if you're wondering how far down to go, that space and that space are about the same. Okay. So you can go for his jaw then. So we'll go like up along here and then change direction like underneath the corner of his eye, see that? Or the eyebrow, roughly there. It'll change direction and go up towards his ear. And then the side of his face kind of bends out around the cheek and up underneath his hair up there. And then we can add that line for his mask. Curves up over the nose there. And then comes back down around his cheek there. Then we have hair spikes, right? So lots of these fringe hair spikes. He's no headband or anything on. Like this. Some of these will cross his eye lines. This one does cross the eye line. And then another here. And then one in behind there. All right, and then more of these hair spikes go this direction and then down behind his ear. So we've got like, say we'll draw his ear in here, curving around. And then ear lines inside. And then his neck will like come down from the ear. And then the hair. So we've got these Hair spikes here, small ones, gradually getting bigger as we go up the head. And like there's a part in his hair here. So these like spike down this way and then this one goes straight up and then all the rest go around to there. Okay, so we'll move down, and he's like, he's been in a fight, right? So there's like lots of these dots and dashes and dirt, dirt lines and stuff on his face and mask, like so. So the front of his neck, down there, got a bit of a neckline here. This trapezius comes down this way, goes that way. And then we have his collarbone. Your collarbone always goes towards your shoulder. So his shoulder is like here. And then the collarbone on this side and shoulder. So he's holding a kunai and his hand fist comes across the front of his chest here, right? So. Right, so see, sleeve just comes here. And the forearm comes across that way. Elbow sticks out here, comes around. And then he has like a rolled up sleeve here. Right. 
And of course he has that spiral on his shoulder as well. Like so. So his hand then comes out from this sleeve, his forearm, wrist. Disappears kind of behind the weapon here. Top of the hand. Down. Around to there. Knuckle. Knuckle there. Little finger there and then like that and there's a bit of a knuckle line here and here and then so another line for the finger there and then the kunai kind of comes out this way right so we've got like the top of it angled either side like that right then it comes down to a point like as far as you can go really depending on how big you want to make it so we'll go i'll go right down to the bottom of my page there there right and then the angles right so it goes here just to make it look a bit 3d and then straight down the middle there and then this line goes back and then it has like circles on the top Like so, like there's a hand line or something there. And then the circle thing that he like spins it, you know, he puts his finger through sometimes. Curving around like that. And then you got a circle inside. Like so. And then his body. This curves down here. And his back there and then his arm oh his thumb he already forgot his thumb here right and then shoulder line and like bicep and forearm like so and then we can add like some more just like dirt lines and stuff scratches from his face. Okay, I think that's everything. That's how to draw Kakashi with his kunai. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.